today we have with us Madam Sinesina Zhao, the head teacher of Gorman Middle School, Jakama. Hello, ma'am. So, she is the only recipient of National Teacher Award from our state, Maglen, for transforming the teaching and learning. The SCRT School Leadership Academy is honored to have Madam Sedesino Zhao, head teacher of Government Middle School, Jakama. So, ma'am, would you like to share some of your experiences you were coming to this far? I started working uh, during 1997, and this year is the 24th year. year I'm teaching here in the same school at GMS Jakama. And when I look back of the previous teaching, my teaching, uh, many things have changed, many things have improved, and with the support of my officers, my teaching staffs, and with the collaboration with the village and parents, many things have changed and the school has changed. With the support from the department and the principal director, our school has changed into a learning ground. All classrooms were painted, boundary walls were painted, with teaching, learning, and with the course related, so that the students learn happily and gently. Okay, and then, Madam, one more thing in like while going through your interview and all, I've come across like for the five consecutive years, yeah. the school has a uh, hundred percent result in the board exam. Yeah. So I'm sure coming this far would not have been an easy journey for you. So would you like to share some of your experiences regarding the journey? Yeah, for the five years, our school has been achieved ten percent in class five board exam and plus eight for exam. With the dedication of my teaching staff and with the dedication of all the teaching staff, uh, we are improving in teaching learning also. And the attendance of the students has also been improved. We have uh, quarterly meetings with the parents and the importance of education is also given to the parents and the importance of attendance and regularity in the school is we give a talk on that. So the parents also, they are happily sending their children to school and then the students are learning. And with the different changes, with the new changes, the students are very happy and the teachers are more dedicated, giving more time to the students so that's how the students are learning and improving. Thank you so much. So, uh, I'm sure there are so many changes that you have initiated in the teaching learning process. So, would you like to share some of the changes which you have initiated, or would you like to show us some changes uh, going through the campus or something like that? The changes which you have initiated over the years. We have uh, different activities conducted in the schools, okay. the life skills, the midday meal, the eco club, and everything is we have been implemented and. We are making use of that, and then uh, we have uh, basket making, a power with life skill, work activities, working in the baby field with children, and with whatever resources we have, we keep it for school development. Uh, we keep it for the children welfare fund. Can you enlighten us more about the baby field team? It seems interesting. So, can you elaborate more on that? During summer vacation, we take all the students from class 1 to class 8, we divide them into groups, and then we go and work in the teacher's petty field. We help them as well as they give us little incentive so that we use it for the school picnic, and then whatever is left, we use it for the school development, like painting, and then purchasing something or innovation. The little things that we do in the school. Okay, so ma'am, would you like to share some of the vision that you have for your school in the coming years? Every year I want to inculcate a new team in my school. So in the coming year, we are going for an enrollment exercise. We'll give a more talk to the parents. We will call the private students, the parents also will talk with them to improve our enrollment also. So we have a strong uh, bond with the community, school management committee also. We will go with a meeting with them 
to improve the school enrollment. Okay. And then we will also talk to the teachers and want to be more sincere. Mm -hmm. We will have uh, orientation time. That's what I'm planning with the school management committee and the village. Teaching is an honor job, so we have to give time to our students and to our work. What I feel is, uh, I want to be an agent of change. That is my motto. I'm working with that uh, to be an agent of change in my life and then in my teaching profession. And whatever the department is giving or whatever little resources we have, we have to make the best use of it as we are enjoying our many more salary than compared to the private schools. Okay. So we have to work hard and then instead of complaining, we should work happily as the future leaders are in our class today. So we should work more harder. Thank you so much for the encouragement you have given and for the things you have shared about your school and the journey that you plan to intake. All the best for your future endeavor as well.